Uh, what do you think? What have the nation been talking about this week? Gay marriage has been, uh, it's passed, it's been passed. It's made uh, civil partnerships are now worthless. They're like Jessup's vouchers for telescopes. <laughs> <laughs> More Tories voted against the bill than for it. 136 against, 127 for. I don't know what they're worried about. They think there's going to be like leather confetti flying around. <laughs> The confetti. A lot of the Tories who voted against it probably uh, are, you know, deep back in the old closet anyway and like a bit of the old naughty. So, <laughs> so they're like, well, fuck that. We're not going to let anyone else be happy <laughs> while I'm stuck in this loveless sham of a marriage when really I want to be, you know. You're not saying a lot of the key words in this, are you? <laughs> A lot of the key bits think, of information in this sentence you're going, you know... where we're at. We all know what I mean. Yeah. You know what I mean? What I don't understand is they can't, they can't force view change. That vicars are still going to be against it, aren't they? So the actual ceremony is still going to be quite... When you get to the end, you'll have the vicar going, Does anybody else know of any lawful impediment? <laughs> Why, these two heathens should not be wet. What does the Bible say? The Catholic Church, I don't think, approve of gay marriage because they th the, the kind of people they're attracted to aren't old enough to get married. This <laughs> <laughs> is crazy. But isn't this one of those things we we're going to look back at in a few years? We're going to say, I can't believe there, was such a there wasn't such a thing as gay marriage until 2013. You know what I mean? We're going to look back at it and say, what? Yeah. Can you believe there wasn't such a thing as gay marriage in church? Eventually, Let's people go, I can't believe men used to marry women. That's mental. <laughs> <You know? laughs> what? That's nuts. <laughs> What's the world they're, just, they're not compatible, are they, men and women? It seems yeah. mental when you look right. back at it. I'd marry a man. <laughs> you marry a man, you, got, you take turns putting the bins out. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, the horse burgers, it's gone mad. It's even what uh, it's affected Burger King, and that's what seems to surprise people. But if your main burger is called a Whopper, <laughs> that's a fair admission that even you don't know what's inside it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want a flame grilled Whopper, do you? Get that downside. I'm not going to tell you. Even their fish burgers have got seahorse in it. <laughs> <laughs> what are the cat? What are the cows doing that were meant to be in the burgers? <laughs> 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 Have they sneaked off somewhere? They've, <laughs> they've like, not gone into work. There's a couple down here, actually. And now they're all hiding, disguised somewhere. They're, are they like the French Resistance? Are they living in people's houses? <laughs> a very good thing will come out of all this, that people in general, whatever you eat, even if you eat, like, corn, you still don't know what's in it. People are far too trusting of packaging. We just buy something. Tesco packaging might as well just say on it, close your eyes, open your mouth, Tesco, go and give me... <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea. Just eat this. It's brown, it's meaty. What's, Shut up. what's the end of that phrase? Close your... Uh, it's, uh... <laughs> Open your mouth, close your eyes. Tesco gonna give you a good surprise. <laughs> you really... Um, the Richard III's body has been found in a car park in Leicester. Uh, oh, will they get the killer? Yeah. <laughs> I like the fact his feet were missing, apparently, because um, in the 1600s they were extending the, the friary under which he was buried, and some builders digging down accidentally cut his feet off. So all that shows is the builders haven't changed in 400 years, have they? <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing what they can tell from the skeleton. They're, you know, they're very clever now. They know, that, they know that his hands were tied like that. They know he got a massive whack on the back of his head, which take a chunk out of his skull out, and you could see his brain through the back of his head, and as he was being carried off, he got stabbed in the arse with a dagger. <laughs> but if you do go out in Leicester on a Saturday night, what do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> it's worth thinking about uh, if you had to be buried in a car park, which one? I'm picking the uh, Knaresborough Civic Council car park. I'm Bagsy in that. Good choice. Um, <laughs> it's an amazing car park. It's cheap. It overlooks the viaduct. It's by the ruins of the castle. You've got a bowling green, and it's right by the police station, so you're safe. <laughs> Do you reckon he had a Brummy accent? Well, they, they think he might because of the way he spelt certain words. But how, how can they figure that one out? Like, he had a Brummy accent. How, they can't. Like, no, exactly. They're full of <laughs> shit. Exactly. <laughs> Tell, Tony, do you think you would make a good medieval oh, me? king? Oh, yeah. I've already been, done it. Yeah, it was all right. <laughs> I was a better Dark Age king, to be honest. <laughs> more, more of an axe-type battler. Swords are a bit dandy. I was more 
Oh. You were rubbish as a pharaoh, though, weren't you? You didn't do very oh, well. Oh, not a good pharaoh. No. <laughs> not a good pharaoh at all. Too hot for me, and I'm a bit pale. <laughs> this is the last king to die in battle, which is that's when royals really deserved or earned their, their, their place, their crown. I think Prince Charles, the most dangerous thing he's done is pinch Camilla's arse. <laughs> That's pretty dangerous. <laughs> yeah, because uh, she could either hit you or sleep with you. <laughs> you know what I need her, though? If it kicks off, she could end up in a Tesco's value burger. <laughs> you have chosen Kian Egan. I, I just always want to say your name. I feel like I'm saying Kevin Keegan, but I've had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's your question. Most people would rather be in a band than a solo singer, true or false? I'd like to be in Little Mix. I'd like to be like the one and go, what's he doing in Little Mix? But they, <laughs> no, but they just they get a new member, then Little Mix have announced they've got a new member, and it's me. <laughs> what would you, what I, you... I reckon most people are afraid to be in a band. Because you've got, you got friends around you. Yeah, it's like, you know, the whole idea of being in a band, you know? It's a bit cooler than... Oh, I'm a singer. On my own. A bit cooler? You know I... you were in Westlife, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know I was in Westlife. Ah. Can you name all the other members? <laughs> <laughs> Did you know each other growing up, all of you guys? Yeah, we did, yeah. We oh, went to school together. That's a proper band then, right? That's did what you, you want. Did you? I didn't we'll realise you went to school together. Yeah. I thought yeah. you were... No, we went to school together. So we you met... knew each other since, since what age? Well, me, Shane and Mark, went to, we were in the same class as each other and we started the band up and then Brian and Nicky joined about a year later. At what point did Louis swoop? <laughs> <laughs> Very early. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, are you a solo artist now? No, I'm not a solo artist. I was a member of a, of a boy band for 15, year, <laughs> 15 years. And your voice is just, just broken. It's just <laughs> broken. It's, it's only happened in 15 years. years. I believe. They yeah. threw you out. <laughs>